My first guest is one of the most talented people on the planet. He's a 10-time Grammy winner, a four-time Emmy winner, and an Oscar-nominated artist. He stars in the new film Palmer, which is streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. Here is Justin Timberlake. What do you want? <laughs> Uh -huh. What do you want? Uh, what do you want? Hey! What? Hey, what do what, you want? Hey, what do you want? Ah, look, you that's want? what I'm talking about. Look at that. It's my man right there. Fresh cut? You, you look like you are... You just went on vacation. I, I look... Uh, I know. I really... I look... Tan. I think it's Why high is that light so bright? I think it's high blood pressure, too. Oh, right. Well, every time Also, around. Yeah. And I wear tight uh, collared shirts. He wears tight collared shirts. He wears tight collared shirts. That's why we all know yeah. him. He wears tight collared shirts. That's why yeah. we all show him. <clears throat> There's a birthmark he's insecure about. A birthmark he's insecure. That dude wears tight collared shirts. I could pick him out in a crowd. <laughs> uh, dude, uh, I, I, I have to just, uh, how's Jessica doing? I know she's doing well. Uh, but how is the baby? I'm. You mean me? I'm doing great. No, no um, the dumb one, the little dude. He's so the, cute. Uh, nobody. I know, man. Uh, nobody's sleeping. <laughs> but uh, he's so cute. Oh, dude! I remember when you you guys Facetimed us. And we didn't know anything. You know, we knew it was happening soon, but we didn't know when. Dude, we were just like. What's up, man? <laughs> just, That's right. Just waterworks, dude. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then he did a bit. Do you remember he did his first bit? He did. He put his face up against the, that little like <laughs> plastic thing. He went like, <laughs> and, like blew <laughs> the old classic bit. He'll do that forever. I wish I would have had the ability to record that. <laughs> so we could see it later. It was perfect timing, man. It was so funny. Uh, yeah. Hey, you have a big weekend coming up. You're, uh, this Sunday is your 40th birthday. Happy birthday! Thanks for remembering, bro. Oh, no problem, dude. My segment producer told me to uh, bring it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I figured. How uh, does it feel? I, I, I can't. You don't feel 40 to me. I, I mean, you don't feel 50 to me. All, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not 50. <laughs> to, oh, oh, oh. I'm 41, dude. We're so oh. close in age. See, you always forget that. Great. Uh, I, I got to say, uh, you, you've been very busy lately. You were uh, active in getting people out to vote, which worked, by the way, both for the presidential election and the Georgia runoff. Uh, but, man, you crushed it at the uh, inauguration. How, how did you, how that performance come together? Who talked to who? Um, well, it, you know, it, it was, uh, I had written this song with Aunt Clemens, um, up and coming artist, and uh, we written the song "Better Days," um, and it, we were doing these writing sessions, and, and uh, we just came. We started writing this song, and ironically, I recorded my final vocal for the song on election day, just because I was so nervous about what was going to happen. I was like, I had to distract myself, yeah. and um, uh, I don't know if. I don't know if like somebody who was on my side communicated oh, to them side. or they, I'm just gonna go with, I think, you know, I'm pretty sure <laughs> Joe and Kamala just wanted us to do it. And uh, Dude, it no, we just, we just heard there was an opportunity to perform at the inauguration and, and uh, you're always there, buddy. Stoked to do it. You don't mess around. Uh, and it's not the first time you, you actually performed for uh, President Obama. What, 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 what were you doing? What jam were you doing there? I, I, Obama looks like he wants to get in on that. If yeah. Go back to that picture. Yeah. It looks like he's yep. like, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the invitation. No, he's a performer. Yeah, he, he does. He yeah. does. Exactly right. Yeah. So, so they used to, I, I know, I think, um, I think uh, the Obamas did uh, a certain theme every summer at the White House with music. And that year it was Memphis. It was Memphis and Stax and... Um, so they had Booker uh, from Booker T and the MGs, oh, and they Booker had T. Steve oh. Cropper, who uh, was the guitarist for on so many of those records. And Steve Cropper plays on the famous uh, "Sitting on the Dock of the Bay," and so I got to come and perform that one um, at the White House. It was pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Do you get nervous? 
I was nervous for that one. Yeah. I was nervous for that one because uh, the president and the first lady were both sitting right there. <laughs> um, my wife and my parents were not far away. Um, That's a cool moment. But yeah, it, it's, I don't know. It was just, it, it felt like, um, and also like that's a classic, you know? So you're like, man, don't botch don't, this. Don't mess this one up, yeah. Don't I, I, botch this. I was keeping up with you obviously during uh, the whole um, uh, quarantine. And I just, I knew in your head, you can't stop your brain. So I was like, are you working on something? You know, I, but I always hate to just bother you. <laughs> and then you posted some Instagram photo of you and Timbaland uh, back together working on stuff. <laughs> Can we say, is there possibility that it, there's going to be a new Justin Timberlake album in the works? Uh, yeah, we can say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we just did. We said that. Uh, there's a possibility. I mean, um, let's go with yes. I mean, I've been in and out of the studio uh, working on stuff and... Uh, um, I played you a few tunes. Let's just tell them. I played you a few tunes. I'll just say uh, it, dude. Uh, I cannot. I cannot <laughs> wait. How do you have the patience to just not just go, yeah, just listen to all this. Just get it out. Like how it's just like you got to be zen. Because uh, they're good songs. Oh, thanks, man. I, I, um, I don't know. I, I mean, listen, I sat on mirrors for like four or five years. And almost got to the point where I was like, what was that song we did? And, really? and uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I think I just take my time. To, maybe that's my barometer that if I still love them as much after time goes by, then uh, hopefully people will after they hear them when time goes by. You've collaborated with, with I think, everyone at this point. Uh, is there <laughs> anyone that you haven't worked with yet that you'd love to get in the studio with? Kendrick is on top of my list. Kendrick. Travis Scott. Um, yeah, that's fun. That would be a good mix. That would be fantastic. You know, I don't know. Who else? Who else? Well, um, <clears throat> I, don't I mean, know. there's certain, some talk show hosts can, can sing and, uh, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, does, yeah. Uh, does, <laughs> does Colbert sing? <laughs> Hey, Paul McCartney was on our show recently, and we talked no, about- No, hold on, hold on. Listen, I'll happily put you on a record if you want to be on a record. You want to sing some backgrounds? Yeah. Okay, done. What, would this just happen? We can't edit this yeah. out. We have to leave this in the show. But, but I'm going to treat you the same way that I did right before we did the first BG sketch we ever did. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm out. <laughs> dude, you're, too, you're too much of a perfectionist. I, can't, I don't know if I can do it. Like, dude, you're flat. You got the again. beards. You got the you got the beard on and the dude. chest hair and the wigs. Dude, we were and turned I, around. And, and you got the guitar. Yeah. And you go we're back to the. Don't mess, yeah. don't mess this up. I go. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. And you're like, no, seriously, bro. And I grabbed you. And I was you like, no, my... seriously, this is, this is get this right. Uh, this is on me. I'm dude, hosting. No, I'll never forget it, man. And we're just. I go, dude, look at us. Look what we're dressed like. What are you? Yes, but it was so serious, but like, <laughs> I, I couldn't look at you because it was so, uh, so great. Uh, I, want to, uh, I want to talk about your movie. Uh, let's talk about that when we come back, right? Uh, let's talk about Palmer. More with Justin Timberlake when we come back, everybody.